to sing and play an instrument, to dance, to draw, to create beautiful objects from the materials available in the environment is as natural a part of being human as it is to walk and talk and play. The atrophy of these functions began with the advent of the Neolithic division of labor and accelerated as the division of labor intensified with the Industrial Revolution, which also created the means to replace them with mass-produced substitutes. As the magical power of art came to be understood in terms of its representational content, artists pursued perfection in their image, countermont to perfect control over reality. Yet when Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci made the final technical breakthroughs in perspective around the year 1500, nothing magical happened. Perspective painting records objects as they look at a moment in time thereby implicitly subordinating reality to the human observer and affirming the fundamental dualism of the separation of self from the natural world. The ambition was to make representation real, the same ambition that lives on in the latest version of the trap for immortality, the software simulation of consciousness in a virtual reality world. We now live almost wholly in a manufactured reality, a world of images, but nothing has actually changed. Words of my good friend, Charles Eisenstein.